All right. It is 12:08 a.m. Now it is October 28th, 2012, and I am Beak Supreme. And this video is for the Beak Robotics YouTube channel. And I'm just wiring up, um, uh, soldering some more wires on this um, to make it easier. Uh, this is for my uh, lighting project on my uh, SNES Pi box. Uh, all my own design my own ideas and so forth. And I just gotta get this done here. I'm just wiring this to make it I'm just soldering these wires on here to make it easier because there's all these bundled up wires. And um you know what? This heat shrink tubing might be too small. So what I'm going to have to do is get some of this bigger heat shrink tubing. It's clear. Where do I have it? I don't know I have it here. Oh, here it is. And for some reason it got all tore up in here. I don't know what did that. I don't know if something chewed it up. Whatever. And um, Now I'm going to keep the red on here to just mark that it's positive. I need to get some more heat shrink tubing. I haven't bought this stuff in years. I'm going to put this on here. And uh, this heat shrink tubing, you don't have to have a special tool for it. You just use your soldering iron. That's what I use. Oh gosh, neighbor's kid keeps screaming a whole bunch. That's just to keep it from shorting out. I'm going to use the heat from my soldering iron to shrink this. There we go. Works fairly, fairly well. And just brush the side up gently. And make sure you don't burn your fingers. You know that kid screaming right there is not my kid. That's uh, the neighbor's kid in the apartment next door to me. I have no control over what they do. Now I'm putting this inside there just a little bit. Shrinking this the rest of the way. And put silicone in there if you want to shrink it good and tight. I'm just marking this as positive effect in it. Basically, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Now, wire up the negative. Just basically going to do this, twist this around here. And then the other wire is still kind of hot. And um, I'm soldering this real quick. No, like I said, I'm not necessarily the best person in the world at soldering. I'm doing an alright job. Took a shower a little while ago. I don't need to smell like chemicals. Make sure we get an electrical connection here. I'm 
Once we get it the way we want, we blow on to cool it down. Now what I can do is I can heat shrink these both together, which I'll probably do. And just use up the rest of this piece here that got all tore up. I don't know how it got tore up. Probably a dog chewing on or something like that. So just to hold these together. That's the purpose of this. Once again, we just take our uh, soldering iron and just heat this up until it bonds together. And it doesn't take a whole lot of heat on this. Soldering iron does a pretty good job. Pretty quick. You can see, I, I can see it shrink right now. This heat shrink is some good stuff. Form the shape of your wires right there. Cool it down. And mark this one a little bit, a little bit more as positive. And so a little bit more heat shrink. Just going to use this as a little band, a little color band. We just need it as coloring, really. It's not like it's got cover or insulating anything. Alright. Just basically as a reminder that this is positive. And just take your siding iron, touch it to there, and grips right to the wire. Okay, we got that one done. Now we need to take this next one. I believe this longer one is our positive. So we're going to split this a little bit more. Yeah, the neighbors next door are loud. Okay, we're going to. Uh, heat from soldering that wire will shrink the tubing. Okay, so you got to be, be mindful of that. Okay, so put on ahead of time, because <laughs> you have to. soldering stranded wire to um, solid wire here so it's not like I can just easily twist them together. Okay, we just put that on there and um, I'm going to solder this really quick.
Good thing they didn't land on my leg because that's hot metal. Heat shrink has already started to shrink over top of that. So we might not be anything to do about that. Really poor soldering job. It was terrible. I'm going to go ahead and shrink that. Since it already started to shrink and I can't slide it back out over there anyway. Solder this again. Okay, it's tolerable. Take some water clear. I'm going to uh, electrically protect this connection. I'm just going to slide this on top of here. Over here. Shrink was a little bit too big. Okay. Now, when I connect this negative here and do get all this done, I'll be a stopping point. I can go to bed for tonight. Somehow being able to do this, people think it makes me smarter than God, which is kind of sad because uh, I don't. I mean, I don't.
consider myself to be like really, really smart. I'm, well, actually, I don't think I'm smart enough. But supposedly being able to connect wires and all that makes me have godlike intelligence. But that's because everybody likes dumb and so dumb. I mean, well, I watch TV. It's just I choose not to be dumb. I mean, I, I try to balance it at least with some kind of educational content or whatever. Just this kind of stuff. I mean, come on. It's not that hard. Shower like three hours ago. So I'm trying to keep clean, not smell. There we go. Alright. It looks like it's a good bond. Some more heat shrink tubing. I'm going to bond all this together to just make it neat. I'm done with that. Stick that to that. okay, it's on there good and tight. Now we're going to heat shrink it. You can make it waterproof if you want, a really good waterproof. You just before you, you know, like. After you solder the wires together and get everything on, you just put some silicone on there and then slide your sleeve with heat shrink tubing on there and heat it up like this and it should squeeze out the excess silicone. And you just let that silicone dry and harden and set up. And mark this, which one is which? Okay, here's a positive. Now we got this all done. Now we got two separate circuits. We can label them. We can color code them with a uh, with another uh, with some more heat shrink. You can get some orange on one circuit. Say that's for your low voltage or whatever. And you do some blue and you know, put that on the other one. That's your high voltage. All you really need to do is differentiate. Now, since I got this all set up, I could take and further solder these two wires together, these two positives, these two negatives. And if you're going to do all one homogeneous type and connect a power source like that, so then you can do that. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking a total of 34 wires and I'm taking them down into four, or take them down further into two. And all that, but um, that's how we do that. And um, I'm gonna turn that off. I'm just gonna put that on. Get on.
unplug, you dummy. Alright, I gotta see how much time's on the camera. Six minutes, okay, that's enough time to wash this really quick because I was dealing with basically what effectively is chemicals whenever you're dealing with solder. And all that. Uh, Alright, and I'm just gonna wash this real quick. Alright, nice and clean. Now I gotta dry it off with some paper towels. Which I seldom ever use paper towels here. Um. I just don't like. See, the solder, a lot of the times they'll have lead in there, which is a toxic heavy metal. And the salt, and then the, the, the rosin, or the, well, the. I guess whatever it uses as a flux. Sometimes rosin, sometimes acid. Just used to clean the um, surface and all that. Um, it's nasty stuff and the smell is just all yucky and it's not good. Now, uh, yes, this was wet and I'm drying it off, but it's low voltage stuff anyway, so it's not like we're going to cause any problems. Just need to plug in and see how much time we got on the camera. Three minutes. Yeah, that should be enough time to uh, plug in some LEDs. Mm. And plug in our blues again because it's really pretty. And I think I'm going to do some uh, pink. This is the alternate color. Oh, maybe I should do um, ultraviolet. Yeah. Do these 405 nanometer. Where's my 405? Pink, orange, green, aqua, blue, yellow, white, light and white. 
color change now. Ultraviolet, 405 nanometer long wave. Okay. Spacing. It's battery. Oh, here's battery. I want to connect the positive. It should work. Yep. Here's our blue. Check our ultraviolet. Yeah, they work too. This one's bright. Alright, here's our blue. See this works after I wired all that up and soldered all that. There's our blue, 400 and 470 nanometer. And here's our ultraviolet. Which I can feel this now because there's a difference in, in texture. 405 nanometer ultraviolet. This is long wave ultraviolet. Now it's not as bright because I don't got quite enough power for it. We'll change that with this uh, power adapter here. We'll use the power adapter. This should really make it bright. Oh, yeah, 